Hello there. <laughs> Happy Friday. Hopefully you have all had a nice week since the last time I saw you, but welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have some, some coffee things to do. Fancy that. <laughs> I think the video we're gonna do today deserves a second edition. Perhaps. We're working on another video slash episode of Behind the Bar. So while that happens, we're gonna just, we're gonna dive into it today. And today we are doing a second attempt at Will It Coffee. Now I'm doing this kind of unpopular demand because on the last video, there were a lot of requests and recommendations and things. I have derived some things from the comment section plus some things that I would also like to try. I don't know if like to try is the right word. I think I should <laughs> try it. Let me go get the liquids that we're gonna be using today. You might as well just call these videos Morgan Abuses Black and Decker Machines. Don't call it that, it's a bad name. Okay, so we're gonna start here. Now, in the last video we did, which I will link in the description below and we'll probably, the title will be somewhere on screen. In our Will It Coffee, we use Red Bull, which is an energy drink. It is carbonated and it's very close to soda. It's close to soda, so why not just use soda itself? So I have gotten a soda that is of much stronger flavor than Red Bull is. It's a Pepsi. In, in the grand scope of things, whether it is a Coke or a Pepsi, I'm on the, the, the Pepsi team. I'm, I'm sorry to any Coke fans out there. Next off, we have coconut water because coffee is generally brewed with water. Usually should be brewed with water. This is water, is it not? It's just slightly different. So I don't personally see any reason we couldn't substitute water for this. So coconut water, it is. Now I would say that both of those two liquids there are generally <laughs> supposed to be consumed cold. However, we're gonna be brewing coffee today. And as we've talked about many, many, many times before in brewing coffee, at least in this kind of coffee pot format, you're gonna be heating whatever liquid to about like 200 to 205 degrees. Fahrenheit, so not the temperature that you would drink those at. Now, this got me thinking of, I wanna use some liquids in this brewer that are actually meant to be heated or usually consumed in a hot format. So this led me to my last two. I'm gonna hide the fourth and last thing down here. But starting off, we got apple juice. Apple juice can be heated. Apple is a flavor that is enjoyed at a warmer temperature. You have apple cider, you have mold apple cider, you have all sorts of stuff. So I thought apple juice in coffee might be an interesting idea. I think this will at least be way better than the orange juice we had. If you have watched last time's video, remember the absolute just horror show that that was. Now, this last one is for sure the scariest. <laughs> However, it's something that you can consume hot. And it's something that I'll be honest, I don't think coffee is gonna taste that bad with. Like I feel like these two flavor combinations could be kind of complimentary. So going with liquids that should be heated when consumed, we have a vegetable broth. <laughs> Will it coffee? We'll find out. That being said, we've got our coffee pot. I have got some ground coffee right over there. You can't see it, but I'm pointing at it. Let's get started. As we did last time, I think it's pretty important to pay attention to the order in which we brew these in because there will be some element and cross-contamination because we're using one singular machine. Even though we'll clean it out in between brews, there will just inevitably be like some apple juice or like some Coke left inside it. But I think doing it in this order right here will leave the least amount of residue. I think starting off with coconut water and then moving down to apple juice and then Coke and then very finally our vegetable broth. We're gonna have the highest chance of success here for all these different coffees we're gonna be creating. And like, hear me out. I've had coffees, like coconut flavored coffees. Well, I didn't enjoy them per se. It's not like a, it's not a really strange combination here. Got 35 grams of ground coffee. In you go. Kind of settle everything in there. This is a good shake. Pour it in. Now I'm not I'm not a usual drinker of coconut water. This is not my uh, beverage of choice in many situations, but if it pairs with coffee, maybe it will be. There's also not a ton of like smell to so coconut water, which I think is a very good thing because the orange juice last time, which had a very pungent aroma, was just, it was vile <laughs> when we heated it up to 200 degrees. Here goes nothing though. I think about it now and I think it would be really funny if this entire series was really just like a sneaky ad spot for Black & Decker and the durability of their machines. It's not, to be clear. None of this is sponsored. This is just a machine that I, I feel comfortable running strange fluids through, but <laughs> would be smart if I had thought of that. Now the smells that are happening right now are not great. <laughs> they really aren't. My house smells a little bit like farts right now, if I'm being completely honest. And it's it's not anybody that's in the house right now. It is it is coming off of this machine right here. So that's fun. It's making the sound like it's almost done brewing. All right, well, for better or for worse, we have some coconut water coffee. We'll hold off tasting until the end uh, when we can have everything at a nice like medium cool temperature. 
So this'll go right here. Let's clean this out, let's get our apple juice. The plus side of filming these videos is that at the end of the day, no matter how bad the coffee is that I have consumed, I always have like a nice amount of just like juice left over. <laughs> I don't think that is anything to complain about. So apple juice. Again, I feel like there's a pretty decent chance of this coffee. Like this is a flavor and a liquid that does well when warmed up. And, and while this is just apple juice, apple juice itself, because it's it's derived from fruit, does have a, a good amount of like natural sugars in it. So I feel like that that will also complement the coffee. We'll get a nice, like lightly sweet sort of scenario here. Could also just be making that up, we'll find out. Oh, the sweet sounds of apple coffee. The color of the drink we have here is a uh, fairly light, if not slightly more red in tone than I would expect. It's kind of exciting. Smell was, I am, I am feeling good about that one. Now, the next one, we'll see if I feel so good about. We have Coke next. You know, I'm standing here looking at this and I, I'm fairly certain if I'm remembering back in like the last 15 minutes I've called this coke like more, more than once even after very firmly going over the fact that I am I am team Pepsi in the soda wars if anything I'm, I'm team root beer but that wasn't an option here oh gosh Pepsi in oh it's fizzing well that's fun all right, we've got some, some Pepsi coffee. The overwhelming aroma that is happening right now is assuredly just Pepsi. If I didn't know that I had put coffee directly in the top of this, I would have no idea that there was coffee in that based on how it smelled. All right, now we have our vegetable broth. This is store-bought, but there's a part of me that's thinking I should have perhaps made this from scratch using the method that James did a couple months ago, wherein he used the principles and the science behind coffee brewing to attempt to make like a better, better vegetable stock. However, we've not done that. It's too late now. I am questioning a little bit about whether my earlier assumption that this plus coffee might go well together. I'm questioning it a little bit. Well, that's a fun color. The uh, color of vegetable stock is not my favorite. Good luck. I've also got something sticky on my feet now and I don't know if it's the Pepsi coffee or the apple coffee. I can't wait. Once more, our Black & Decker has served us very well. That being said, the tasting time has arrived. Some of you all who have been, been around these parts for a quick second might remember something called the cream test, which is something I used to do in a lot of my like kind of like try all versions where we were trying to find the best of whatever genre of coffee we were exploring that day. I'm so glad we don't have to do the cream test with these ones. <laughs> now, I think we have essentially brewed from least offensive to most offensive. I think we should taste it in that order as well. Question number one, coconut water. Does it coffee? I may have to restate that. Potentially, this might be the most offensive of these coffees. <laughs> Let me start off. If you haven't had coconut water before, it does have kind of a heavy, almost sticky mouthfeel to it. Like it is, it is a, it is a different consistency than water. It, it definitely is. And it's got this kind of like, almost like gelatinous sense to it. That's the best way I personally can describe it. And that has, that has carried over. <laughs> have you ever wanted like a gelatin coffee that is mostly dissolved and then you also like dunked half a coconut in it? That is what this tastes like. I will very confidently, very happily say that coconut water does not coffee. Now, apple juice, however, like this is a nice color. Smell wise, it smells nice. There's, there's a lot of sweetness, a lot of sweetness to this, even on the nose. I think this could be good. kind of good everyone. <laughs> you actually don't get a lot of coffee. This is very overshadowed by the apple juice actually, which which was a little bit surprising. I, apple juice does have a strong flavor. It does truly, but I expected the coffee to also have like a similarly combative flavor with it, but it doesn't. It mellows the apple juice out, the sweetness of apple juice with, with the bitterness of the coffee. That kind of works. <laughs> if I am being entirely honest, I think apple juice does coffee. So happy about that. At least one of my predictions can come true today. The Pepsi, or as I've been calling it, apparently the Coke. Now this is for sure like the darkest coffee I think I've ever seen. This this looks akin to like soy sauce. <laughs> like this is like the, the Vanta Black of coffee. It doesn't not coffee. There is definitely that like kind of sickly sweet, like back of the mouth, like Pepsi soda sort of quality to it. But that being said, the bitterness of the coffee does balance it kind of nicely. Mouthfeel wise, it's pretty soft. It doesn't have like a super heavy or like sticky mouthfeel like this, that one did. However, it is a little bit thicker than your average coffee. 
which is kind of nice. I will say, I do think this could be very good if it was served cold, not brewed hot. Maybe, maybe using Pepsi in replace of tonic and kind of like the espresso tonic format because people do occasionally use sodas. I've seen Sprite used pretty popularly. You can use, of course, tonic water. You have also seen, probably in the past, even on this channel, us using like Coca-Cola before paired with coffee. And I think Pepsi would work kind of similar. I think Pepsi in and of itself has very, very dark, rich, like sweet flavors, which is something that coffee frequently complements. So I think this coffees, I'm gonna say that yes, it coffees. And I will say, I think it would coffee even better if it was cold. I don't wanna drink it. I felt really good about it like 45 minutes ago. And now I'm looking at it and I do not wanna drink it. Okay, I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> I am smiling right now and laughing to, uh, to keep the pain away that I'm feeling inside. Can you imagine doing the cream test with vegetable broth coffee? It doesn't smell like much and, and that alarms me because frequently I like to use the aromas that come off of these to at least kind of gauge what I'm getting myself into, but I feel like I am going in like entirely blind here. I'm experiencing a little bit of whiplash going from the Pepsi coffee to the vegetable stock coffee. I feel like I need to get my brain to like savory mode because this is not sweet. There is, there is nothing about this that is anything but salty. I'm gonna try it again. It doesn't work as well as it should. However, it is not the worst thing I've ever tasted. I wanna say that it coffees. I do really badly because it's not terrible. Once you wrap your brain around the fact that this is, this is a savory beverage that you are sipping on here because the vegetable broth, again, has a lot of salt to it. It's not so bad because the coffee, it mellows it out. It, it expands those flavors in the broth to be something that's, that's kind of pleasant. However, the format, the ratio, the, the, the entirety of this, I think does not work. So for the sake of this, I will say that vegetable broth does not coffee, which leaves us with our center two being the ones that do coffee. Truly, I was surprised to find out that the coconut water did not coffee. I thought this one had some potential, but it was infinitely worse than the vegetable broth one. Shockingly, the more you learn. Now, I hope this was educational to at least one of you. Let me know if you are that one person. <laughs> Besides that, I think we had a kind of fun, kind of ridiculous time today, and that's about all I'm looking for. Now, we have many more videos coming up soon. I have some more behind the bar stuff coming up, and here's a really exciting thing. I am getting a new camera soon, so very soon I will be that YouTuber that goes, bear with me, <laughs> I have a new camera. It might not work today, but anyways, lots of fun stuff coming up. Again, I am Morgan Drinks Coffee. I'm Morgan Drinks Coffee pretty much everywhere I'm active. I'm here on YouTube once a week, plus some shorts. And you can also find me on TikTok or Instagram pretty much every single day. Hello. Now, I am not gonna take any of these with me to finish drinking. I'm gonna leave them here and I'm gonna go wash up my mouth with something. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>